hear ye, hear ye. I would like to start by apologising for being away for the last couple of weeks, but I'm back now. So here is a quick overview of the last few weeks. We'll start by getting Trump Trumpageddon out the way. Trump's been caught out taking money from his election campaign fund to hush porn star Stormy Daniels, which is kind of for the campaign, but illegal and deeply immoral. Stormy Daniels evidently did not keep quiet on the details of the sordid affair, but had Trump not paid her off, there would have been no legal problem in the first place. Trump's long-term lawyer, Michael Cohen, who paid Stormy Daniels and is now being linked to Trump devotee and Fox News pundit Sean Hannity, has had his offices raided by the FBI, meaning a judge must have seen evidence of criminal activity. Former head of the FBI, James Comey, had an interview with ABC before the release of his autobiography, in which he described Trump as a compulsively lying, morally unfit, wannabe mob boss. Trump's mob mentality can be seen perfectly in his recent Twitter furore at Russia. One tweet he told Russia to bring it on, the next he mourned for their past relationship, similar to a teenager going through a breakup. It wasn't just Putin that dumped Trump in the last few weeks, as Fox News host Tommy Lahren and Tucker Carlson, and even InfoWars host Alex Jones, ended their love affair over Trump's gung-ho bombing of Syria. Alex Jones literally broke down in tears, screaming, Fuck you, Trump! The strike in Syria was a response to an unconfirmed chemical weapon attack in Douma that was allegedly carried out by the Syrian government, which Western leaders have insisted they can confirm but can't provide evidence for. It's giving me WMD deja vu. Missiles supposedly hit chemical weapons factories in the outskirts of Damascus, but there is no sign of deadly chemicals leaking to the surrounding areas, and there has been no evacuations. In fact, reporters were at the site the day after the strike. Theresa May blindly followed Trump's lead, but at this rate she might as well gouge her eyes out for the amount of blind following the leader of our country actually does. One of the potential reasons she towed Trump's line is a desperate plea for American trade relations after Brexit, which, despite an ongoing and damning investigation of the Leave campaign into serious election fraud, and only a majority of one million voters, she is pushing ahead with anyway, once again blindly following what she still claims is the will of the people. Our Prime Minister seems less interested in the will of the people now as local elections loom. The Conservatives are yet to have promoted voter registration once in the run-up to polling day, when a Labour landslide in London is looking inevitable and will potentially reduce Tory seats to the lowest level in history. Make it happen. Get out and vote on the 3rd of May. Theresa May is also facing serious questions over the deportation and citizenship status of the Windrush generation, Commonwealth citizens brought to the country as children by their parents who came to help rebuild Britain after the Second World War around 70 years ago. This is a direct consequence of her self-described hostile environment for immigrants by requiring them to provide paperwork for every year they have been in the country and by destroying their original boarding passes to the SS Windrush in 2010 when the now Prime Minister was Home Secretary. Cambridge Analytica is being investigated in both the United Kingdom and the United States now over its connections to the Leave campaign here and the Trump campaign in the US in which they used data that had been covertly mined from Facebook by Cambridge Analytica. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerbot testified to Congress over his company's involvement in the privacy breach and was forced to go through the excruciating experience many millennials feel of explaining to their elders what a Facebook is. Mick, Mick, have you seen the news? No, what? What? There's loads more, there's loads more now. Uh, the careers, then they're not having a war anymore, they're getting together, and um, Trump's been talking again, there's loads more, you do it again. This is the 23rd take, no, no, no. Thank you for listening, I've been Mick Riggers, and that was Last Week, Right Now. 
We'll be back again next week. Uh, please, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, right here, right now, we'll be back at the end of the month.